In this problem, we're told a rocket of total mass 3,180 kilograms is traveling in outer space with a velocity of 115 meters per second. To alter its course by 35 degrees, its rockets can be fired briefly in a direction perpendicular to its original motion. If the rocket's gases are expelled at a speed of 1,750 meters per second, how much mass must be expelled? So in order to solve this problem, what we're going to do is use the conservation of momentum. But before we do that, let's just explain what we were given, right? So we're given uh, that it's going to be traveling at 150 meters per second. And what I'm going to do is call this the velocity in the x direction. So you just imagine, you want to imagine this is traveling along an axis, right? So 115 meters per second. And we're also given the total mass, right? So the total mass is going to be 3,180 kilograms. And so basically the way we're going to do this is by saying the momentum initially it has to equal to the momentum at the end, right? So you could say P initial equals P final. So what's the initial momentum going to be equal to? So what we're going to do is pretend it's in the Y direction. So in order to solve this, you actually need to find the velocity in the Y. But essentially, we know the mass in the beginning, right? So this mass is basically what we're going to be solving for. So how much mass must be expelled, right? This is going to be the mass expelled by the rocket. So basically, the rocket's momentum gases, right? So the momentum of the gases in the beginning, right? And what is momentum equal? Momentum equals mass times velocity. So the mass that it's going to expel multiplied by the velocity it's going to go at is 1750. And what is that going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be equal to the momentum of uh, the rocket, right? So in this case, the rocket is going to be what? What's its mass going to be? So this is the rocket at the end. So after it turns 37 degrees, right? And so it's going to be equal to its mass is 3180 minus its mass, right? Because this is its initial mass, right? And then when we minus this, right? Because we're going to be losing that. So it goes from this and then we're minusing it. And it's going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to its velocity in the y direction, right? Because these are along the same axis. So in order to solve this, we actually need to find its velocity in the y direction, right? So what is its velocity going to be at the end? So they're telling us to alter its course by 30 degree, or 35 degrees, meaning we need to find the velocity in the y uh, after it's turned 35 degrees. And so how do we do that? So the way we do that is, or well, we know the tangent of an angle, in this case, we're turning it 35 degrees, is equal to uh, y over x, right? But keep in mind the x. So the x is 115. So if we want to solve for y, right, which is what we need the velocity in the y, uh, we just have to multiply this both sides by 115, right? And that's going to give us uh, the velocity in the y, right? Because usually you find the angle by doing the arc tangent of v over y, but since we actually have the angle, we can solve for v sub y. So this is going to be v sub y, just 115 times the tangent of 35. And when you go ahead and do this, 115 times the tangent of 35, you'll get v sub y equals 80.5238, and so on. I'm just going to round to 80.5. You can use the full number if you want. And then it's going to be meters per second. So now we have v sub y, so we can actually plug it in. So it's just 1750m is equal to 3180 minus m. And then we're multiplying it by v sub y, which is 80.5. So we just got to multiply this out and solve for m now. Right, so uh, just multiply this out. So 3180 times 80.5. All right, so 1750m is equal to, when you multiply these out, you'll get 255990. And then this is just going to be minus 80.5m, uh, right? Multiply these out and then add it to the other side. So 1750 plus 80.5 is 1830.5m, and it's equal to 255. 990 divide by 1830.5 right we're just doing algebra so 255990 divide by uh, 180 or 1830.5 and you're going to get m right the mass we're going to expel right because keep in mind this is the mass we're expelling because we do three minus the mass we expel equals this right the momentum of this so it's going to be 139 0.847 so 139.847 and then this is kilograms right so you can round however you want you just say 140 or whatever you want to do but this is going to be your mass and yeah so this is your answer and hopefully you found this useful